Have you been on the search for the perfect foundation your entire life and still feel like you haven't quite found it? Today, we are going to dive into what no one is talking about on how to find the perfect foundation. I'm Megan Brown, a professional makeup artist in Southern California, and I'm passionate about demystifying makeup and beauty for all you makeup users that want to confidently enhance your features in a natural way and in a minimal amount of time. So if you're ready to be your own makeup pro, be sure to subscribe and check out my Hack Your Makeup free video series in the description below. If you think finding foundation is purely based off of matching the color of your skin, you're about to learn a lot. All the other videos on YouTube seem to only focus on undertone and color matching, and when that is the only focus, you are gonna be missing a lot. It's no wonder that so many feel they struggle to find the right foundation. In this video, you're going to learn what you should really be focusing on when it comes to choosing the right foundation. Part one, coverage. Coverage is to help even out the skin, whether that's redness, blemishes, hyperpigmentation, or anything else that you would want to even out. There is sheer coverage, medium coverage, and full coverage. Let's break those down. Sheer coverage is the least amount of coverage within a foundation. It looks the most natural, and it's more about your skin versus the makeup. Medium coverage can even out your complexion while still looking natural, but more on the makeup side of looking natural. Full coverage is meant to cover the skin completely. This, in my opinion, is the least natural look to makeup and be more on the side of glam and made up. A few additional things to know about coverage. There's a time and a place for sheer, medium, and full coverage, depending on what you do on a daily basis. My rule of thumb is always go as sheer as possible as long as you get the necessary coverage. Pro tip, if you're wanting to look as natural as possible, go with the sheer foundation and just build coverage where you need it. Also, I constantly hear, I don't wanna look cakey. Not a problem. I don't think anybody wants you to look cakey. I don't wanna look cakey. So again, going on the sheer coverage side is almost gonna guarantee you won't look cakey. If you're wondering what I mean by cakey, I mean separation of your product or where it's really obvious that you have foundation on and not for the better. If any of those things are registering for you, that foundation is not for you. It's time to try a new one. Part two, finish. The finish of your foundation is all about how much glow or shine is on your skin once it's applied. And before we dive into the three different finishes you can have within your complexion, I want you to ask yourself two different questions. One, what does healthy skin look like to you? And two, what is your personal preference with your skin? Side note, if you always choose the same finish and coverage within a foundation when you're looking for a new one, I suggest you try to find something a little different. We have three main finishes within foundations, dewy, semi-matte, and matte. A dewy finish will give glowy, radiant skin. Semi-matte finish is the Goldilocks of finishes. It's where you're not completely dewy and glowy, but you're also not matte. You're right in between where you have a slight shine to the skin, where it looks the most natural like skin. Matte finish is where there is no shine at all to your complexion. And in my opinion, I think that it is the least forgiving and also the least natural looking type of finish that you could choose within your foundation. There are other ways to achieve a matte finish within your look other than choosing a foundation with a matte finish. Now, just like coverage, there are a lot of different scenarios where you may want a specific type of finish for the look you're going for or the occasion that you're going to. Part three, formula. There are a lot of different types of formulas when it comes to your foundation. There's liquids, there's creams, there's powders, there's airbrush. Honestly, the list goes on and on. Personally, I find that liquids and creams are the most natural and easiest to use. So if you've struggled with one, don't be afraid to switch up the formula of what you are using as foundation. I put together a list of foundations that describe the coverage, the finish, and the formula. So then that way when you go to play with foundation, you have a better understanding of what I mean in physical form. 
Personal preference is also going to play a part in choosing a formula. There may be a formula that works better for you to work with or that you just prefer the way that it lays on your skin. Take that into account when you're looking for a foundation. Notice how we haven't even talked about color yet? What's one thing that you've learned that you didn't know before? Drop it below in the comments because when you write something out, you tend to remember it more. Part four, color. Now that we've narrowed down the most important factors like coverage, finish, and formula, selecting two to three shades within the line that you're looking at should be relatively easy. First, you're gonna start with shade range from lightest to darkest. You're gonna find two to three within that shade range that will apply to you. And then finally, we're gonna narrow down undertone, which should be significantly easier since we're only gonna be looking at two to three of those foundations within that brand. Now that you have a list of the kind of foundation that you're looking for, watch this video next on how to walk into a makeup store and test the product before you buy. Thanks for watching, I'll see you soon.